All right, g'day guys, Wearman here. Welcome back to the workshop. I am going through formation types for some bizarre reason. Uh, had the idea for using this in force building and thought, well, it might be a good idea to, to give you an idea of what sort of things you're looking at. So let's keep going. Um, we're still on page 21 of the clan box set rule book. And we're looking at the second formation type there, the Battle Star Galactica. Sorry, had to. Um, so, quoting: Battle Stars are the line troops of any force, whether holding the center of a combat group or supporting a reinforced assault. The Battle Star is meant to close range with the enemy, relying on armor and mass to sustain its units, while their heavy firepower pummels the enemy. Common Battle Star formations are often grouped by their unit's weight classes. These weight-specific battle stars usually drop the word battle from their nomenclature and are frequently referred to by generic-sounding terms like heavy star or medium star. Okay, uh, requirements for building a battle star. 50% of the standard battle star must be of the heavy weight class, 60 tons or greater. At least three units in this formation must also possess any combination of brawler, sniper, or skirmisher unit roles. So that means you can have one brawler, one sniper, one skirmisher. You could have three brawlers. You could have two brawlers and a sniper. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got at least three units that have a mix of those roles, you're okay. Um, the ideal role, which lets you move past those requirements and not worry about them is brawler uh so if you can find some brawlers you're in luck um the bonus ability is pretty cool it is not an actual um spa like the assault star was um so this star may re-roll an attack roll or failed piloting skill roll a total of six times per scenario Second result stands even if it fails or is worse than the first. Ability may not be used to change the outcome of other types of roles. So critical hit checks, hull breach checks, blah, 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 etc. Right? So attack rolls and piloting skill rolls. Six re-rolls per game. Well, per scenario. I suppose that's a, a fairly specific thing. But yeah, six times per scenario you can re-roll. So... Uh, I'm going with them saying that this is a a one-shot thing, so you only get to do it once per roll. That would be my thing, because they say there the second result stands, even if it fails or is worse than the first. So you'd only be able to use it once per roll, but you can use it up to six times per scenario. And if you're building a lance, you've got four units, potentially, that can use that you still have to have at least three units viable in order to be able to use those re-rolls. So if in a lance, for example, two of your dudes go down, you're going to lose whatever's left of your re-rolls. Okay, the ability doesn't apply anymore. Um, yeah, which is a bit sucky, but there you go. Such is life. You've got things that are snipers, skirmishers, uh, units that are putting out reasonable amounts of firepower, they are heavyweight class, or at least 50% of them have to be heavyweight class, which means two in a lance have to be heavy or better. Um, and you've got to have at least... Well, I mean, a lance, there's only one that doesn't have to have one of those roles, either brawler, sniper, or skirmisher. So you, you're putting out a reasonable amount of damage and you're doing some fairly fancy things. Um... Those attack and piling skill rolls, I mean, six times per scenario, that could be very handy if you take a lot of damage and you've got someone who's uh, being pushed or uh, kicked or something like that and needs to try and stay upright in order to keep the scenario going, that sort of thing. That could be very, very handy. Uh, I think there's at least one battle star in the... Um, the uh, kickstarted box sets, the new box sets. I'm pretty sure I got a an Inner Sphere Heavy 
Star, a Heavy Lance, I think it was. Or I may have gotten a Clan Heavy Battle Lance. I can't remember now, I'll have to have a squeeze. But I'm, I'm dead sure they're there. Um, yeah, line troops. This will be your, your bog standard type dudes, basically. I mean, they're, they're built for just being soldiers, just being there on the field, trying to get in and, and get close and start hurting things. <laughs> uh, dear. Ideal role as a brawler. I think you can probably find some mechs that'll fit that. You can build yourself a couple of these. That'll work. Hmm. Might have to have a look at some of my minis and see what I've got. Anyway, that is the Battle Star. And like they say, often they're just referred to by their weight. I think in campaign ops, there's actually different ones, like different requirements for different weight battle stars. So your heavy battle star needs heavy um, units like this one. The medium battle star only needs to be medium or better, obviously. But I'll have a look at the full versions later on if that's something that you guys want to want to see. Now, I'm bringing that up in Master Unit List, but I can tell you now there are 562 different mech variants and 90 vehicle variants that qualify as brawlers. Brawlers is a fairly broad specification. You just need to be able to take a beating and dish one out at the same time sort of thing, right? You, you, you're looking for units that can take a fair bit of damage and still keep on chugging and just like keep dishing out damage over and over again. Um, so you've got 562 mechs, 90 different combat vehicles. There's 16 industrial mechs, 18 proto mechs that count as uh, brawlers. And I think as we've mentioned before, we're going into proto mechs pretty soon. Hopefully that's already up or it might be a little while away, but that it gives you a lot of options. Uh, and there's also six support vehicles that count as brawlers. Like I've said, I, I don't think these are always entirely accurate, but if you want to do it rules as written, then you've got six support vehicles that you can take as brawlers. And I've just had a look, and one of them is a field repair unit. So, yeah, if you want to take that as a brawler, you go for it. Um, let's have a look at industrial mechs. Oh, there's a security mech, 25-ton security mech, a bunch of militia mechs, a cargo mech. The Heavy list Lifter HCL-1M Cargo Mech Modified. It's a 60-ton brawler. Nice. Um, but like I've said before, you're looking mostly at mechs uh, and vehicles. Um, some of the ones that stood out to me, I mean, they start from as low as 25 tons uh, with the Arbalest 3. Um, counts as a brawler. Um, but the ones that stood out to me that I actually know, right, that, that I use a little bit myself. So the Panther was a good one. I actually really, really like the Panther mech. Um, I, I've been watching a lot of videos lately where they discuss the relative merits of given units and it's, it's awesome. They are really, really good. It is not, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what like why to get a specific mech because I think a lot of it is very subjective. Um, I like the Panther. I've met people who don't like the Panther, but it's a light mobile mech with a PPC and I kind of like that. So that's, that's as it goes. Uh, so there is a version of that one that is a, um, well, actually there's two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, there's 14 variants, a couple of them are named, but yeah, there's 14 variants of the Panther that count as brawlers. And only one of them is over a thousand BV. All the rest are under, which is, which is pretty good. Uh, the Ulla, which is a, obviously a, um, a clan mech, but there's a few variants of the Ulla that, that come through as brawlers. Uh, the Hatchet Man is, that's got to be my favourite mech. Um, and quite a few of their, 
variants count as um, brawlers. Because, again, you're looking at more towards close-range combat. I think the juggernauts from the assault were moving more towards medium to long-range combat. They're, like, slowly progressing towards you and getting worse and worse as they get there. But they had a lot of softening up potential. These guys are more get in close and hurt things. And the Hatchet Man is just really, really good. Um, there's a bunch of different variants of the Hatchet Man that, that are brawlers. The Blackjack was an interesting one. That that stuck out a little bit. But yeah, there's a few variants of that that count as um, brawlers as well. Uh, the Vindicator, the Thunderbolt, the Warhammer. There's lots of variants of the Warhammer that count as... Um, as brawlers, um, there's a fair few Thunderbolts, but yeah, there's a lot of Warhammer ones that count as brawlers. Again, with the Atlas on the on the Juggernaut side, it was almost filling the screen. This one almost fills the screen, uh, including clan variants and all that sort of thing. But I mean, it's a brawler mech, basically. Um, what else have we got? Oh, the Black Knight. Yeah. Uh, that was... That was pretty good. Uh, and I think it was the Xanthos, which is a quad mech, if I remember correctly. I did look it up at one point, but... Um, it's just... That's just really, really cool. <laughs> I like the idea of quad mechs being brawlers. That's just awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's one variant of the Xanthos. Xanthos. It's a 100-ton quad mech. Um, but yeah, there's there's 90 different vehicles as well. So you've got things like the Carnivore Assault. The Rommel and Patton both have variants that are brawlers. The Bulldog. Um, Bulldog's one that stands out. Uh, you got the... Uh, what was the other one? Ah, there's a couple of variants of the Scorpion. So it's a very light tank. It's only 25 ton track, but it's got three different variants that count as brawlers. And I like that. There's the light act, the MRM and the standard all count as brawlers. And those are all under 500 BV. It's a 25 ton vehicle, which means it's probably not going to last long, but it counts as a brawler. So if you want to make a battle lance with, with minimal BV, then chucking some vehicles in there can help you. But, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> We're just going to go through stuff and we'll see what happens in the long run. Either way, you guys stay groovy and I'll catch you in the next one, eh?